The Lingsfield Handicap Hurdle is next. And there's just seven in this. That's a three mile, oh, three mile two furlong, 0 to 100. Top one, Plyne Lukey for Martin Lynn, Resentful Sadie and So Half Lucy for James Shea. Ring of Esteem for Thomas Rogers. Cirque for Martin Lynn, Cad Bean for Ryan Costello and Scenario Woodfire for Thomas Rogers. So we've got three trainers with two runners each in this. And quick sweep of the track. Oh, maybe a not so quick sweep of the track. And there we go. And away are they going? And Cad Bean in the lead. Oh, Warren Costello, the only trainer with just the one horse in it. James Shea's got two. Thomas Rogers has got two. And I've got two. But it's so hard floozy on the inside in the James Shea colours. James Shea and Thomas Rogers sometimes have the same silks. It's a good job they didn't have all the way out. Four of the seven runners in the same silks, which would be a nightmare, wouldn't it? So anyway, so, so half Lucy in the lead. And Cad Bean Cirque coming up around the outside into third. And pretty tightly packed. Nothing seems all that keen to put any great pace into this race. And so half Lucy is the leader, probably on sufferance at this point. And by a couple to Cad Bean. With resentful Sadie up the inside. And the Thomas Rogers pair are both running together as well in the group with a white V and the slightly lighter green sleeves as they get to the first flight eventually, which they're all safely over. And as usual, my two are at the back. Cirque and Plyne Lukey. Plyne Lukey is really a chaser. But just give it a spin. Over hurdles this week. Does this race look like it might be not too difficult a one to win? And over that one they go. So, so half Lucy in front by about four. To resentful Sadie in second. Cad Bean in third. And Scenario Woodfire. Ring of Esteem. Cirque. And Plyne Lukey. So, week seven, very nearly in the book. Just got the hunters to go, and that'll be seven weeks done, and six weeks to go. And so half loses in the lead by four lengths. So resentful Sadie second as they get over flight number four. So James Shea's first and second, and Thomas Rush's third and fourth. At this point, it can be. Sole representative from the Costello organization and so half Lucy is the leader from Resentful Sadie in second, Ring of Esteem is third, and Cirque and Cat Bean and Scenario Woodfire, and finally Plyne Lukey. I'm racing downhill then now, and inside the final two miles, and so half Lucy has been in the lead all the way. Stable might resent for Sadie chasing in second as they get over number five. With the Ring of Esteem third, and Cat Bean fourth, and then Cirque Scenario would for and Plyne Lukey virtually in a line. Racing alongside the all weather track as they get to number six, which they're all safely over. That's the midway point in the jump, and they're going to come up past the Big screen and the winning post shortly with a complete circuit of Leafy Lingfield to go. And so half Lucy is the leader. Past that winning post with 12 furlongs still to race. And resentful Sadie is second and Ring of Esteem is third. Cadbean is four and Cirque is five. Scenario Wood Four is six and Ply Lukey is seven. And as they race away, and take the long run towards the next flight. So half Lucy trying to make it a pillar to post victory. In what must be one of the long, longest distance hurdle races in the league. Three mile two that one I think on day one as well. And normally only three mile, aren't they? Three mile one, three mile two. 
Move you that far. So half Lucy is in front. Or resentful Sadie Catbean is getting significantly closer. So too is Cirque. And Ring of Esteem, Plain Lukey and Scenario Woodfire. Over the eighth they go, a mile left to race. So half Lucy's led for two miles so far. Resentful Sadie and Catbean second and third. Cirque on the outside fourth. Ring of Esteem still going well enough in, th in fifth. It's been switched to the outside, then Plain Lukey, Scenario Woodfire. They're not made a move on either of those two yet. Still plenty close enough. And so half Lucy is the leader. Cirque and Cadbean resentful Sadie. Ring of Esteem making a bit of a forward move as they jump the ninth. Still got three flights to take and the ones towards the back are starting to get a little bit closer. The leader down on his nose there, so half Lucy, and that might well change the complexion of the race as Cirque now comes up on the outside to be the first one to challenge for the lead. Cad being a resentful Sadie. Scenario Woodfire, look at that one creeping through the inside from absolutely nowhere coming through to challenge, but has run straight into a brick wall that's called so half Lucy. But now Cirque's gone on. Cirque in the lead from Scenario Woodfire in second. So half Lucy on the inside is third. Resentful Sadie, four then Cad being a ring of esteem and Plain Lukey. But and it's Cirque in the lead then. Cirque's in front on the inside of Scenario Woodfire. These two are now three lengths clear of Resentful Sadie and So Half Lucy. Racing down towards the second last flight then now. And Scenario Woodfire on the outside of Cirque. These two are clear. Cad Bean's been pulled up. It's Scenario Woodfire over in the lead. Better jump though by Cirque on the inside. And Cirque goes a length clear. It's Cirque in the lead then. Just one more flight to take. And Cirque's in front. Scenario Woodfire's in second. Resentful Sadie trying to run in third. Plain Lukey's running on in fourth. It's Cirque coming down towards the Final flight in the lead by two. Then now, Scenario Woodfire under strong pressure over the final flight. They go, Cirque lunge in the lead from Scenario Woodfire and Resentful Sadie. Plain Lukey is eating up the ground. It's Cirque in the lead. Cirque from Scenario Woodfire. Plain Lukey, Cirque's in front. Cirque needs the line as they get into the final half. Well, on Cirque's in front. Scenario Woodfire and Plain Lukey. Cirque beginning to hang on. Here comes Scenario Woodfire. Cirque needs the line and just gets it in time. Cirque wins it. Scenario Woodfire second. Plain Lukey was third. What a close finish. Cirque just managing to hang on to take it from Scenario Woodfire battling back and Plain Lukey the chaser running on in third. Cadbury was pulled up in the straight as well. So there's a full list then. Cirque for Martellinum is the winner. Scenario Woodfire for Thomas Rogers was second. Plain Lukey for Martellinum was third. Resentful Sadie for James Shaw was fourth. And Ring of Esteem for Thomas Rogers was fifth.